Here, what are you doing with that? I put it there for safekeeping when I visited Kirby Lonsdale on my grand tour of Yorkshire in 1816. <laughs> a man needed a drop of something to warm his bones that year, I can tell you, even in the middle of June. They called it the year without a summer. And it was wetter and colder than any summer I can remember, <laughs> even a Yorkshire one. It was something to do with volcanic eruption of Mount Tambora in Southeast Asia, apparently. Mind you, we had the most spectacular sunsets that year as well. So who knows? <laughs> People do like to name things. Take me, for example. J.M.W. Turner Esquire, at your service. But they call me the painter of light. I think it's because I like being outside, sketching and painting what I see, rather than working in my studio all the time. I draw and paint in all weathers, all times of the day. <laughs> I remember one time, I was staying at Farnley Hall with my friend, Walter Fox, and we saw this storm rolling and sweeping over the Yorkshire Hills. It was wonderful, sublime. And I made notes of its form and colour on the back of a letter and I used them later when I painted Hannibal crossing the Alps. <laughs> the thing about it being so unusually wet that year was that though I had to fight through downpours to sketch, it also meant that the rivers and the waterfalls were at their most spectacular. I visited over 70 places on that tour, creating illustrations for a book by the historian and rector of Esham, the Reverend Dr Thomas Dunham Whitaker. A good many of them were waterfalls, I did. Aysgarth Falls, Gordale Scar, Hardraw Falls, Janet's Foss, loads of them. You should see them for yourself. They are magnificent, not too far from here. <laughs> Why? You can see Ingleborough from the square outside. Or, if you want a truly remarkable view, for very little effort, take a stroll down the churchyard at Kirby Lonsdale and gaze out over the valley as I did in 1816. And, as the eminent art historian Mr Ruskin did nearly 60 years later. <laughs> he called me the greatest artist of the age and that view one of the loveliest scenes in England. I told you people like naming things. Why don't you decide for yourself? Go on, go and take a look at the view and when you're done take a look at some of my paintings. Just be sure you put that flask back there before you go. <laughs>